episode 18. In this episode, I'm calling it Resistance Masterclass. If you have, have had issues understanding what is resistance, this video is for you. And let me tell you guys, I'm ready to give you this tea because I'm ready to give you my secret sauce. And uh, you need to, to listen to the whole of this video. And first of all, comment down below. Let me know uh, how is your experience with resistance and support? Is it something that disturbs you when it comes to analyzing the chart? What really makes you, uh, what is the number one thing that affects you in the market analysis? I want you to comment down below. From what you will comment, that's what I will be making videos about. So I want people to ask me questions in form of comment session. So if you want me to deal with anything regarding Forex, just comment down below and I will have uh, video ideas to create for you guys so that at least I can be able to help you to be able to maneuver in this Forex market. Okay, guys. Now, when you talk of resistance, you need to understand what is resistance. And I keep telling people that uh, resistance is when it's for the buyers. There's no way you can you can be looking for resistance if the market is not buying. So anytime market is on an uptrend or buyers are coming into play, that's when you start looking for resistance. And again, there are so many things that happens at resistance. I teach them in my class, but here I will tell you one thing that happens at resistance, break of resistance. So you can see in such a chart, so I can come here and say resistance like that. And then um, I can come and put that is my resistance. What you are seeing, it has broken. Uh, the resistance keep breaking. So that is the breaking and that is the breaking. So if we do, so here we have no breaking of resistance. So for, for resistance to break, it has to break with a board, with a green candle. So that's basically how resistance is um, is always like, how is, that's how I can explain to you what resistance is. So for me, and I know many people don't know this, um, for me, I have my own way of understanding the market. I have my own way of teaching when it comes to resistance and support. And sometimes I'm very limited when I come here on a free flat, free platform because they this information I give you guys is part of my premium information for my students who have paid. So sometimes I am I'm struggling even to train because I don't know what to say, what not to say. I want to say everything. But anyway, let's do this video and let's see how far we will go. Number one, you need to understand that whenever a resistance is mentioned, if I mentioned resistance, who should come in your mind, buyers? So if I mentioned today, resistance buyers should come in your mind. If I mentioned resistance, again, you need to know how the resistance is formed. Formation of resistance. So that is something else you need to understand as a trader. Again, another thing that you need to understand is the resistance, resistance strength resistance strength resistance strength is determined by time frame it's determined by time frame so the resistance strength is determined by time frame and then the time most likely uh most likely time to observe to observe resistance so you can see we have so many players uh, when it comes, when I mentioned the, the only resistance, so you need first to know how is it formed, formed uh, the resistance, how is it formed? That is number one, formation of resistance, resistance strength. They, there's no way you can compare a monthly resistance and a four hour resistance or a four hour resistance and a five minute resistance. You need even to know before even you start trading that resistance have some strength. Formation of resistance, you need to understand, even if, let's say you have this chart, this is your chart, majority of you, yes, they can know, this is my resistance, my highest point, and they will come, maybe here is the resistance, because how they were taught, they were told resistance is where 
the market has touched multiple times. So they are seeing here the market touched twice. So that's how ma how majority of people know that. So here it has touched how many times? Three. So majority of you, they still they are still backward, uh, saying how resistance is formed. Uh, the majority of you, they are still backward. Resistance is not formed because of majority times uh, the market has touched the resistance. No, that's not how we locate a resistance. So there is the way you need to understand how resistance is formed. And then resistance trends, mostly likely time to observe resistance. And uh, I think the last one, the last one is the resistance. Can I call it resistance do's and don'ts? Because there are some things that will happen at resistance will be considered as maybe violation or confirmation. So number one, I won't do the three things here because you need to understand, I can't come here to keep training you guys and my videos are getting only a thousand views. No, if I will teach this concept, first of all, we need to hit a hundred thousand subscribers and also these videos should be watched. So it's your, it's your mandate to share this video. If I'm teaching a bigger audience, I have no problem to teach them. So today I will show you how resistance is formed. And number one thing, so I have said, we have so many things that happens at resistance. So number one, we have to know how is resistance formed. Resistance is formed. That is what I want to teach you. Resistance is formed when a green candle is followed by a red candle. That's how a resistance is formed. And let me tell you, this concept alone is money. This concept alone is money. And that's why, guys, I am telling you that this coming Friday, I have a one-day masterclass that I'm charging $12,100. Even if you're not in Kenya, you can still participate. Because if I'm willing to teach you this for free, you can imagine what I have in store for you. So resistance is formed when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So that's how resistance is formed, guys. So if you know this, this is your first step to know how resistance is formed. If you know this is my resistance, number two is to know what happens at this resistance. I have told you so many things happens at this resistance, but here I'm coming to tell you breaking of this resistance. So you can find, yes, after resistance is formed, you'll be waiting for other things, but one of those things that you're waiting is breaking of that resistance. And after breaking of resistance, there are so many other things that you need to check. That's why if I tell you that I teach valuable content and you should buy my course or come to that one day masterclass, this is what I mean. So if you, if you want to know what to do after here, just watch this video. So you have known how resistance is formed. Resistance trend that is covered in the course, mostly likely time to trade. This is the the sessions, the trading sessions, New York, London, that's how I train according to, according to the pair that you're tra trading. So according to the pair that you're trading, uh, that is what I can teach you. So uh, now let's, let's go to this chart. Let's go to this chart. I have taught you all that. I have said for the rest of this three things or four things or five things, what I am leaving is what I'm teaching on the masterclass. I have to show you that the masterclass is important, guys. So if you still think that I'm here to waste time or I'm here and a uh, masterclass is no value, how will you know how to go about it? So if this is your chart, if this is your chart, guys, we have said resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So here we have a red green, so that is not a resistance. So yes, I may have a resistance here because I have a green candle followed by what? By red. I have a green candle followed by red. So because I have a green candle followed by red, that is a, the first resistance, but I am concentrating. And this is another thing that I need to teach you. We concentrate with the current market. So let's observe this current market and we see what will happen.
So do we have a resistance? Not yet. Do we have a resistance? Yes. What did I say? A resistance is created when a green candle is followed by red. Once now you understand this resistance, you wait for the resistance to break. So we are waiting for the resistance to break. Let's see if the resistance will break. Now, the question is, what do you do after resistance is broken? If you want to buy, if you want to sell. So, and that's why I'm saying, once resistance is broken, buyers are strong. And in this case, that's what happened in that market. Once that resistance was broken, the market bought and it has never come down back again. Would you have known that one candle only made this market to buy? Would you have known that? Anyway, that was our lesson for today. If you want more details, like in this resistance topic, I have detailed information. And if you want detailed information, just buy that uh, masterclass of one day, $100, or buy my course that is $400. Or you watch here for free, and I will see whatever I want to teach for free. Anyway, bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Love you so much. God bless.